The records are so huge that we had to hit the mic an additional time this week. Let's get into it. Another week, another list of the record-breaking sales courtesy of the best comic app in existence, Key Collector Comics. Utilize Kotom 101 to unlock a free two-week subscription, support this show, and learn a vast amount of information about funny books, better your comic hunt and collecting. And Jem, why don't you start them off at number 10? Not before they hit that like and subscribe to the channel. You know we're here for you twice a week with the Hot 10 and now the Hot 10 Runners Up. Number 10 on the list is Vampire Tales, issue number 8. It's the first solo story for Blade. Debuting in 1974, it's oversized. You got to look at every type of short box on the con floor. This is a goodie that may be just sitting in there, getting ignored because of its size, but its key status is known. And we saw an 8.0 sell this week. I mean, prior record was set back in 2020 for 250. It's up 60% hitting 400. And just like how Bueller refuses to read the DC Black Label magazine style format, I'm sure there were collectors like that back in the day making these magazines scarce and high grade. Moving on to number nine, we have X-Men Origins Gambit, issue number one with, get this, the origin of Gambit. Coming out in 2009, we joke about the thumbnail this video predicting the next modern day keys, but this right here is a classic example of going with your gut. I remember seeing this comic on shelf and choosing not to buy more than two copies. And when you look at the 9.8 price, you're going to wish you did just like I wish I did. Back in 2018, selling for $200 up 120%. Now selling for 440 Now it could be getting attention because it's the origin of Gambit. It could be looked at as like a next best thing for those who have been outpriced out of the first appearance or even the first cameo there is also a new gambit series coming out by legendary writer chris claremont and a good friend of mine has an exclusive for that oh jam you're so kind gambit number one written by chris claremont cover art done by peach momoko and with the powers of whatnot we're sending out at random trade dress versions and virgin versions randomly to the comic fam link in the description to directly support the show and join the august mystery mail call comic tom 101.com to join the community and at the list at number eight we have daredevil 37 debuting in 1968 a classic battle depicting dr doom and daredevil two characters that we expect to see soon in the mcu that's right, we already got Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home, and it's only a matter of time before we see Victor Von Doom. A CGC 9.2 sold for $225 back in 2020, and it's up 144%, now selling for $550. Classic covers like this featuring moments between two heroes and villains are becoming more and more wanted by the community by the week at the list at number seven. Also, a collectible item becoming more and more wanted are the preview appearances. We have Marvel Age, issue number 31. This comic hits lonely sales of $10 on average, but we're talking about an above average book, a 9.8 this week that essentially set its record because the last time we saw one sell, it sold for basically cost for $13 back in 2008. And this past week, an increase of $420 selling for $440. That's an increase of 3,285%. Now with a sale like that for a 9.8, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this book probably doesn't come to market too often in that grade. It's also a double key. You have a article for Thundercats prior to the debut of the first issue. And we also get a teaser of Flag Smasher prior to his first appearance in Captain America 312. Moving on to number six on the list, we have Marvel Super Heroes Secret Wars issue number one, the second print debuting in 1984. You can tell the difference between the first and second print because of the Spidey emblem in the corner box. It's black if you have a second print, and we have a 9.8 sale prior selling in 2021 for $721, up 119% this week, now selling for 16 hundo. Well, at the time of this recording, San Diego Comic-Con is in current production. Well, depending on what drops this week, I suspect members who bought this comic book are hoping we're going to get some news about Secret Wars. And you know what I love about these types of like naturally occurring variants is that back in the day, a reprint or a second print was considered worthless. 
But now with CGC census and we understand how rare these are, they're actually sometimes worth more than the first print. More? Looks like number five on the list. More Fun Comics 26, point in case, taking it back to 1937. More Fun Comics bringing us the first adaptation, the first Thanksgiving themed comic book cover. I got greens, I got beans, tomatoes, potatoes. A CGC 6.5 sold for $870 back in 2012. It's up 286%, putting it up $2,490, selling for $3,360. You name it! Hot damn Thanksgiving fam. At the list at number four, you got a lot of those holiday books. We have Black Cat Mystery, issue 39, debuting in 1952. And Jem, I just got done petting Butch. Throughout this entire take, I have just cat hair everywhere. Sounds like the orange cat mystery over there. And I wonder if comic Butch butchers comics. We should do a test with that. That's right. Funny thing as well. Nick from Key Collector Comics, the person behind the computer, his cat's name is Billy. So my cat's name is Butch. And it's by coincidence that if you combine them, you get a boy's hero slash anti-villain. I digress. We're talking about Golden Age Comics. A CGC 9.4 came to market. Now, this hasn't sold since 2005 when it sold for $920. It's up 291% now selling for $3,600. This is a book that was referenced in the seduction of the innocents when they were trying to get a bunch of rules in place to regulate how comic books were being created because of how dark they were and the particular demographic they were selling them to, specifically kids. So when you find out that a doctor creates a Frankenstein monster out of the dismembered body parts of a murdered woman, you begin to piece together, no pun intended, why a code was needed. Yeah, you see some of those Golden Age covers, and it's stuff that we wouldn't even do today. You could kind of understand why they came up with the Comics Code Authority. Moving on to number three, we have Strange Tales 138, the first appearance of Eternity. The twin brother of Infinity and an adaptation that took place in Thor Love and Thunder, kind of a genie version of the cosmic character. I digress because a 9.6 hit the market. Last selling in 2020 for 23 hundo, up 257%. Clearly landing with the community, an increase of over $5,900 selling for $8,200 this week. Hot damn. That's amazing. Super high grade for a Silver Age book. What also is amazing is number two on the list, Amazing Fantasy 15, the first appearance of Spider-Man. And speaking of high grades, you know we had the highest grade of all time for this book, a 9.6 break record, selling for $3.6 million, surpassing its 1.1 million previous sale, and for a short amount of time, becoming the highest selling comic book of all time. With a $3.6 million high sale for the highest graded copy known to exist, it should be no surprise that one of the lowest graded copies was going to break record, specifically a no cover. You know, I would argue that this is even worse than a .5. It's got no cover whatsoever, and so much of the cover is what these books are graded on. The last time one of these came for sale, it was in 2018, and it sold for $5,300. It's up 136%, selling for $12,500. An increase of over $7,200 for a coverless blue chip silver age Marvel Grail. Hot damn. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button. Don't forget to comment down below. It ends you to win this Omni-Man issue number one of Invincible done by Tyler Kirkham. But also, you have a couple days left to comment on the last Hot 10. We'll put the tag up here for you to click on because that video, we are doing a boys omnibus collection giveaway courtesy of one of our favorite comic book publishers, Dynamite Comics. Big shout out to Dynamite Entertainment and Nick Barucci. Make sure to follow them here on YouTube. Check them out over on Instagram. Follow them on Twitter. They just completed the Kickstarter for this, and it's also released in stores as well. And at the list at number one, a giant record breaker, the disgusting, the monstrous, the incredible Hulk. And I know Rage Theo is happy. A CGC 4.0 sold for $16,501 back in 2014. It's up now 133%, selling for $38,400. First appearance of General Thunderbolt Ross, Rick Jones, Betty Ross, and of course, Bruce Banner, the Incredible Hulk. She-Hulk is in the distance. We know that Mark Ruffalo will 
join the cast, at least for an episode. Members may be trying to secure what Hulk keys they can, but with the amount of attention Marvel, Silver Age, Blue Chip books are getting, it's really tough to tell. I would say that this book is definitely drawing some attention with an over $20,000 increase since that last sale. We appreciate your time today, comic fam. As always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh. Enough said. Comic fam, join me on the best new place to buy and sell collectibles, whatnot. We have a power hour happening this Wednesday, post San Diego, so you know we're bringing the heat. Link in the description. Join the community over there. We're bringing drops, exclusive keys, dollar start auctions that last as little as 15 seconds long. The giveaways are getting crazy. And take a look at these two other videos. We made them for you. Have a good week.